Welcome to this Giftworks video. In this video, I want to show you how easy it is to move from one of our Giftworks desktop editions to Giftworks Anywhere. So for those of you who want to move from Giftworks Standard or Giftworks Premium and want to start using Giftworks Anywhere for its remote and hosted capabilities, then this video is going to show you how easy it is to do. So the first thing we're going to do, and you'll notice that I'm using Giftworks 2013, and the information in this video will be helpful whether you're using Giftworks 2013 or earlier versions like 2012 or Giftworks 2011. But the very first thing we want to do is we want to create a backup of our Giftworks information to ensure that in the event anything were to go wrong, we could always have a safe and secure backup. So let's go over to the settings area. Under database files and maintenance, let's click on backup your database. And I'm going to store it, I'm going to actually just store it in my documents folder and I'll just call it 2012-0814 backup of Giftworks. And I'll say before moving to anywhere. Really long name, but really explicit. Click on Backup Now. And now a backup is complete. Now I can verify that that backup exists. I'm just going to open up my Documents folder right here. And I'll see that there it is right there, Backup of Giftworks Before Moving to Anywhere. And so I have that backup file. Now I'm not going to necessarily need that backup file for this process, but it is going to be there in the event that I were to have to go back to it. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to sign out of Giftworks. I'm not going to exit. I'm just going to sign out to get back to, this, to the sign-in screen. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to note the location of my GDS file. If you don't see this in previous versions, it, was, it could be hidden. And you could always go into the Options link at the bottom. It might say Show Full Database Path. So, but you want to note the location of your, of your Giftworks database file. You'll notice this GDS, Giftworks Database Storage. And so you're going to want to note the full location of it. And we're going to need that when we get started with Giftworks Anywhere. So I'm going, to, I'm going to minimize this right now. And I'm going to start up Giftworks Anywhere. Now, if you need help getting started with Giftworks Anywhere, we do have a Getting Started with Giftworks Anywhere video that you can check out. Make sure you watch that if you need to get started. But what I am going to do is I'm going to click on the File Explorer for Giftworks. And that's going to start up my File Explorer that I'm going to use to move my GDS file from my local computer up to Giftworks Anywhere. We do also have a Giftworks Anywhere file storage video if you want to watch that. That will give you a little bit more understanding of how this works as well. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my local drive down here. Under File Storage, I'm going to see Local Disk. Now, depending on where your Giftworks database file is located, meaning back on Giftworks, depending on where this is located, this happens to be located on my C drive. For some of you, it may be located on a network drive. If it's located on a network drive, you may need to move it to your local C drive to be able to move it. So it might be a good idea if for those of you who have it on a, on a networked drive, you may want to move it to somewhere on your C drive, maybe your desktop or maybe your My Documents folder. And I, maybe I should clarify that. Don't move it. I want you to copy it from a network location to your C drive. That's going to allow you to more easily move it up to Giftworks Anywhere. So on Giftworks Anywhere now, you're going to want to uh, find the location on your local C drive. Remember, watch that file storage video if this is getting a little bit beyond where you're comfortable with. But you're, I'm going to go down to, because I know where my GDS file is. It's located under My Documents and Settings, Administrator, My Documents, and I think it's called, let me go down here, it's called MyGiftworksInformation.gds. So I'm going to find that under My Documents over here. Scroll down here and it's called my gift. There it goes. My giftworks information.gds. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to want to move this GDS file from my local computer right here under here up to my in this case my G drive. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to look I'm going to move it to this my our organization. That's spelled wrong but you get the point. So I'm going to I'm going to click on this. Oops. I'm going to click on this. And I'm going to drag and drop it up to my G drive under our organization information. And it's going to now begin to copy up to the Giftworks. Uh, it's going to copy it from my local computer up to Giftworks Anywhere. So now if I click on our organization information, I'll see this Giftworks data, database storage file right here, my Giftworks information, and it's on my G drive. Remember, it's located on my G drive because the G drive is called a group drive. It's, it's a drive that's a, it's a drive letter or a storage location that is available to all the users within your organization. So you, if you're going to have multiple people uh, wanting to access Giftworks Anywhere. You're going to want to put it on the G drive. 
while I'm here because it's bugging me, let's just rename this to my organization. There we go. Uh, great. So now, once it's moved from my local computer up to my G drive, I'm now ready to get started with GIFWorks Anywhere. I can simply come over to GIF. I'm going to minimize this because this is the GIFWorks on my local computer. And I'm going to start GIFWorks Anywhere by clicking right here. Once it starts GIFWorks Anywhere, there you go, GIFWorks Anywhere. It's getting started. Now I'm going to click on Options and I'm going to say Select an Existing Database because I've already moved my one from my local computer up to the G Drive on GIFWorks Anywhere. I'm going to browse under the G Drive. I'm going to click on Our Organization Information and I'm going to click on My GIFWorks Information.gds. Click on Open. Click on Next. Choose my user account and then I, I'm ready to sign in. Now the information that I have on GIFWorks Anywhere now, if you notice it right here, if I go into my donors, I'll see that I have one donor here. Now I'm going to put this next to my GIFWorks desktop. This is my old GIFWorks desktop that I was using, but now I'm starting to use GIFWorks Anywhere. And you see that I have the same donor here, and the same donor here. You'll notice the times are exactly the same. I have the same GIFWorks information now available on GIFWorks Anywhere. Now it's probably a good idea just to avoid any confusion it's probably a good idea now to go to your Add Remove Programs uh, in your computer and to remove the local copy of GIFTWORKS. Uh, keeping in mind, you're going to have still have access to GIFTWORKS Anywhere through the Citrix, and make, make sure you watch that Getting Started with GIFTWORKS Anywhere video to understand the installation process of GIFTWORKS Anywhere. But re it's probably a good idea once uh, GIFTWORKS has been successfully moved to GIFTWORKS Anywhere, meaning your information has been moved successfully there, it's probably a good idea to delete or to uninstall GIFTWORKS from your local computer. That is that, that local, the desktop edition, just to avoid confusion and you don't accidentally start entering information on your desktop side when you should be using GIFTWORKS Anywhere. So in terms of uh, upgrading to GIFTWORKS Anywhere uh, or getting started moving from GIFTWORKS Desktop Edition to GIFTWORKS Anywhere. It's pretty much that simple. You're going to simply want to move your GIFTWORKS database storage file, your GDS file, up to GIFTWORKS Anywhere using the file storage capability of GIFTWORKS Anywhere. And then you're going to want to simply sign in uh, to that, um, sign into that GIFTWORKS database on GIFTWORKS Anywhere. And finally, remember too, if you have multiple users using GIFTWORKS Anywhere, meaning you have multiple GIFTWORKS Anywhere accounts, and that everyone will, when they start up GIFTWORKS Anywhere, only one person will need to actually move the GIFTWORKS database storage file, that GDS file, up to GIFTWORKS Anywhere. But then everybody, as they start GIFTWORKS Anywhere, they will need to click on the Options link, click on Select an Existing Database, browse to the location, in this case the G Drive under Our Organization Information, click on Open, and then they'll be they'll get they'll be ready to get started using it as well. So I hope this video has been helpful in showing you how easy it is to move from one of our GIFWorks desktop editions to GIFWorks uh, anywhere. And we wish you the best with GIFWorks. Thanks for watching.